Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader, known as Fijian Traders. This is your host, Mr. Singh. NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA. What a week, what are we having? And we come to a beautiful 200-day email where it means the bias is sitting roughly this area. Well, before talking on the technical side, what do I mean by bias sitting over there? I gotta cover the news. Why did we have the pullback? And let's go and kind of dig dive and I will do a breakdown. What does it mean? So Wall Street ended sharply lower as the sticky inflation deems the rate cut hopes. The best, uh, the bets are for the June rate while doing the Feds in the minutes Feds over the inflation process. So what does it mean? The U.S. truck tumbled over the tumbled to a lower close on the Wednesday after the hotter than expected inflation data drew cold water on the hopes of Federal Reserve been cutting interest rate as early as June. The all three major stock index sharply lower on the opening bell after the Labor Department Consumers Index, which is CPI, reportedly landed into a remainder of inflation road back down of first two percent target will remain a long maturity one. What does it mean by that? Well the sickness of inflation data costs and ask the question uh, later in the mentality, said the Ryan Derrick, the chief market strategic of Carson Group. And that disappoint, disappointment have caused a pushback, only the potential timing of the first rate cut, but now many, uh, may, many we are going to get. The minutes from the Fed's March policy meeting reflected the consensus of inflation process towards the target they might have stated. The restrictive monetary policy may have maintained a longer than anticipated. So, kind of skimming through this article, I want to show, uh, kind of go over that the interest rate have sensibly stocks have hardest hit. The real estate primed to be the biggest one in the percentage since 2020. Um, so, having this interest rate cut, and which you are planning to be in 20%, looks like it is going to be up to 20% a chance of it getting cut. And we have been expecting it to pass over an year now of inflation cut. Uh, inflation data has been so high. And... We need the defense has to cut it, and in order to do it, you will have the economic growth having coming to a stable position right now. It means a lot of growth and development coming, so the market it is very unstable. So anything related to rates has clearly been hit hard today, and the real estate, housing, to small caps. Uh, so like it's, it's made it very simple, Mr. Derek said. Anything related to a, a, a rates, it will come down on that. So uh, down downs uh, financial. Uh, so financial markets price during to 16.5 percent of 25 basic point cut rate in June from 56 prior to the report release. So we are seeing the pullback coming, and we expected it. Uh, I expected it this week to be a potential on that, uh, and I did mention it. We were seeing the highs of thousand dollars. My target was still maintained that end of April. I was expecting to be a one thousand two hundred because on the technical side, we knew how this interest rate has played a down effect on it, and how we're seeing this price pulling down. Well. Let's talk on the technical side. Why I'm saying the bias. So time and time, this is my, if you're not familiar with my chart, so the pink line, which is the 200-day email, the blue one is the 60-day email. Every time we came to a loan, like remember that when we were sitting running at $485, it showed up. Even though when we broke out on the 60-day, came close to our 200-day moving average, and we break down. So this is a loading zone. This is a confirmation of loading zone. And we clearly see that we've been trading and testing this there's two bottom right here and even the low of 200 830 dollars so what we need to break is none other than it's going to be my 899 but before that it is going to be the blue line which is the 60 day sitting at 882 dollars that we got to break well the good news is that the buyers did step in today uh but because after the market, when we have this pullback, means uh, why even though we kind of closed, we had more buyers stepped in because it was dropped to a discounted price. What does it mean to a discounted price today? And I'll, I'll share with you guys what does it mean by that. Um, it's when we had came all the way to $830, right? Buyers stepped up and put it to $874, went high and recovered on that. Because on the pre-market, we gapped down drastically. We gapped down and we've been trading right here. 
and we gap down to 830 and the buyers stepped in and pushed it so the interest rate is going to be one of the key things that we got to keep an eye moving forward this week because that is going to be the game changer how the fed's going to do it so this is a one month chart clearly see that we struggled to break the 974 dollars even we came close to 967 uh this is a one month and then the 200 day the only thing that i'm i'm i want to be share with you guys we are trading on the one month which is going to be the 60 day moving average sitting at 800 and $93 that's why $899.45 is my resistance because we break it then we hold and we're making higher highs but you can clearly see that on the three months when I shift the gear to the three months let me fix my chart as well on the three months we kind of couldn't break out today because it's sitting at $875 and we closed today at $870 so we did close on the market today on that so something to keep an eye as well but why I'm saying still confident there was a loading zone because there a lot of buyers stepped in right so $830 is definitely definitely where the buyers have stepped up and pushed the price higher and higher higher lows so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have another tech uh, support level sitting over here and I'm gonna fix my chart as well so I'm gonna have my horizontal chart right up here at $830 which is gonna be the green and we're gonna fix this one now it's gonna be a resistance so you gotta change into a yellow so yellow is the resistance level now they clearly see the support level here because you can see one time we got spiked up over here got rejected and we have created a double bottom if you're not sure about what this double bottom means uh, go ahead and google it You'll find it on the uh, chart patterns. It is an uptrend pattern showing it, but we gotta see how short-lived it is, or is that? But it is an area where the buyers have stepped in and pushed the price uh, even higher highs and higher lows. Whereas in the six months, you can clearly see that where that is the loading zone area. And I did mention in my previous video that is the loading zone area that we are looking at 835 when the buyers came in and stepped up and pushed the price even higher than that. Folks, I know this is a bit a roller coaster downtrend right now, uh, and we we'll try love to see if it's gonna break out. Uh, but the only way I can say to you guys is $882. So we gotta break that $882 and make higher highs and higher lows. Um, so in that way we can you know have a confirmation of uptrend. But this is a beautiful loading zone if you're interested because I am loading my call options tomorrow on this area because it is a beautiful support level that I see on that. Folks, thank you for watching it. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Doing a short, quick radio video on NVIDIA. One of my sleeper stock was it. Now is a big bank account for me. I'm excited about it. But you got to play it right, right? It's not coming back all the way if you people have a perception on that. But things can change as well. But we got to be still on that holding line right here on 200 on the moving average. So this is then area you can see now. Uh, you'll see uh, NVIDIA trading between $830 all the way high of 974 this is your kind of immediate range making higher highs but i wouldn't be surprised coming and testing the highs of 900 this week so thank you for watching and hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day please don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button thank you